In this video, we will be exploring some practice questions related to atoms and their fundamental particles. I encourage you to pause the video after each question and try solving it on your own before we go through the answers. Keep in mind that some of the questions may be simplified for conceptual understanding. So let's get started. Question one, which of these particles is an atom? Hydrogen and fluorine are atoms, while methane is not an atom, but a molecule. Remember, an atom is the smallest unit of an element that can exist. Hydrogen and fluorine represent singular elements, while methane is an atom bonded to other atoms or other elements, forming a molecule. Question 2. What are the fundamental particles of an atom? Where are they located and what are their charges in coulombs? The fundamental particles of an atom are protons, neutrons and electrons. Protons and neutrons reside in the central nucleus while electrons orbit the nucleus in the surrounding space. Protons have a positive charge of positive 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Electrons have a negative charge of negative 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs and neutrons have no electric charge. Question three, what is the net charge of the following atoms in coulombs? For atom A, the net charge is zero coulombs. There is one proton, one electron, and one neutron with no charge. The positive charge of the proton cancels out the negative charge of the electron resulting in the net charge being zero. For atom B, the net charge is also zero coulombs. Since there are two hydrogen atoms, there are two protons, two electrons, and two, two neutrons. The charges cancel out, leading to a net charge of zero. For atom C, the net charge is positive 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. There are two protons, one electron, and two neutrons. The positive charge exceeds the negative charge, meaning that if you sum all the charges, the resulting charge will be net positive. For atom D, the net charge is negative 3.204 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. There are eight protons, 10 electrons, and eight neutrons. The negative charge exceeds the positive charge, meaning that if you sum all the charges, the resulting charge will be net negative. Question four, what is the mass of each fundamental particle in kilograms? The mass of a proton is approximately 1.673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. The mass of a neutron is 1.675 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms and the mass of an electron is approximately 9.109 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. Question five, what is the mass of these particles in kilograms? For atom A, there are three protons, so three times the mass of a proton, three neutrons, so three times the mass of a neutron, and three electrons, so three times the mass of an electron. Multiplying each particle's mass by its count and then summing them, you will get the total mass, which is 1.005 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. For atom B, there are nine protons, nine neutrons, and 10 electrons. By following the same process of before, so multiplying the mass of each particle by its count and then summing them, you will get 3.014 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. 
For atom C, there are 12 protons, 12 neutrons, and 10 electrons. By calculating the same as before, the total mass is 4.019 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. For atom D, there is only one proton and one electron. The total mass is simply the sum of the masses of a proton and an electron, which equals 1.674 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. For atom E, there are four atoms. Each carbon atom has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons, while each hydrogen atom has one proton, one neutron, and one electron. By multiplying each particle's mass by the number of particles and then summing them, the total mass of the entire molecule is 3.349 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. Question 6. What is the density of the nucleus of protium? If the mass is 1.673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms and the radius or R0 is 1.40 times 10 to the negative 15 meters. Assuming the nucleus is spherical, you can use the formula for volume, which is 4 over 3 times pi times radius cubed. To find the density of the nucleus, we can use the equation density equals m over v, where m is the mass and v is the volume. We know the mass of protium's nucleus, which is one point. 673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms but we don't know the volume we can use the formula for volume to calculate this so when we plug in the radius which is 1.40 times 10 to the negative 15 meters into this equation we get the volume 1.15 times 10 to the negative 44 meters cubed now, using these values, we can calculate the density. So, the density is mass over volume, which is 1.673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms over 1.15 times 10 to the minus 44 meters cubed, which gives us 1.50 times 10 to the 17 kilograms per meters cubed. And there you have it. We've successfully gone through some practice questions related to atoms and their fundamental particles. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a, a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. So that's about it. Until next time.